Not 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 that he's a potential pro bowler. He's a potential all pro. There we you know, they're drafting this kid. He's 20, 21 years old at, at this point in time. But I'm telling you, by the time that this kid is 24, 25, 26, he's going to be an all pro. I mean, I don't have any doubt about that. Barring injury, this kid is going to be is going to be an all pro. I think he's got Hall of Fame kind of potential about it. That, that's I think he's got longevity. There's nothing. His motor runs all the time. He knows how to play football. He's not afraid of contact. He loves contact. As a matter of fact, he eats, sleeps, and drinks this stuff. Uh, Brian, Brian is is one of. If I had to take anybody off the seat, it probably is Brian Brissett. Okay, well, goodness, Hall of Fame, <laughs> Hall of Famer. <laughs> well, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually throw a little gas on the fire, but. Um, before I get to that, I, he's six foot five, three hundred pounds. He can play inside a little bit on the on the tackle. Um, here's what I wrote down about him. Now, the medical part of it might really sink him because, as um, Don, Don Munson was just saying, I mean, if you can't stay healthy and if you have a history of you know a bunch of little things that are now mono, I, I don't really even know how to categorize that one. And then, you know, his, his sister They call it died. the kissing disease, Dave. <laughs> That's right. They used to call it that. Um, yeah, but, um, yeah, so anyway, his, his, uh, his sister died at age 15 of brain cancer. So what I wrote down about him is he's a grown-ass man. This yeah. guy is, he's been through a lot, and I think if you watch him play, uh, that he is, uh, he is, he's a pro. Like, he works hard. But um, just uh, oh, let me get you know the rest of it. Four eight six forty at the combine. His bench press was twenty two. Eh. I mean, I did twenty three as a linebacker, but I had shorter arms. You know, yeah. I mean, these long arm guys. Um, you know, twenty nine inch vertical, fifteen tackles for loss, nine sacks in his career. But you know what he reminds me of, Bob? When I watch him, and like I said, I'm throwing a little gas on the fire. He reminds me of Cortez Kennedy. That would Ooh. be the the comp and. I have no clue if this guy is going to be that dominant. But when you look at how he plays, what I used to always say about Cortez, and I just marvel uh, uh, watching film, that he just kind of goes wherever he wants to go. Like he never like had like a special swim move or a bull rush or anything. Cortez would just decide, okay, I'm going to go this way, and that's exactly the way he would go. And not every time, obviously, but that kind of that kind of reminds me of uh, Brian Brzee. He really is – he has a tendency to always – he's really hard to block, and he always seems to pick, like, the right side of, of where to beat a guy. And then the other thing I wrote down is kind of hokey, but economy of movement. Like, he doesn't – there's not a lot of extra stuff. And like I said, that's where the comparison with, uh, with Cortez Kennedy comes in is that, you know, like I said, you never just saw him do, wow, that was an amazing athletic, like a spin or anything like that. It was just like, yeah, this is the way I want to go, and I'm going to go there. So big, yeah. strong kid, obviously defensive line. And the reason why I picked him is because – Seahawks have the number 20 pick, and, mm -hmm. you know, Don Munson there was telling us that he would be a steal there. But, you know, a guy like that, if his medicals don't come in right, I mean, you obviously don't don't want to draft a guy like that. But if this thing goes the way, I, I think it's going to be a very unpredictable draft, You he might drop down to 37. And that's the pick that the Seahawks have in the second round from Denver.